Hey, how's it going? If you are planning to move to Barcelona, just want to learn what it's like to live here, you're in the right place. I talk quite a lot about it. By now, I lived in Barcelona for three years and I noticed some positives and negatives. And I made completely separate video on negatives that you can check out later. But today let's talk about positives. One of the biggest positives I think most of the people living here would agree on is the location. Everything is really close by. I'm still trying to figure out how I can try all of the sports this city and surroundings has to offer. You want to go for a hike? Check. Snowboarding? Check. Windsurfing? Why not? And culture in the city supports this lifestyle. You can find meetup groups for practically anything. Even individual sports like running. You can join Midnight Runners for free, where they do some bodyweight exercises together with running and workouts feel like one big party. And it's true for other sports like volleyball, basketball, football, you name it. Then, if you want to challenge yourself, there are a bunch of competitions organized in the city. I participated in half marathon and quite a few 10k runs, but you can find some trail runs throughout loans, basketball or volleyball tournaments. There are a bunch of other events I'm not even mentioning here, but you get a picture. People are active here and the environment is perfect for that. Even if you are not into sports, you can chill at the beach, drive up to some viewpoints, spend time in nature. Outside of Barcelona, there are a bunch of small beautiful towns you can visit. You have vineyards, cover out, resorts in Pyrenees. In general, whole region of Catalonia is diverse and really beautiful. Then of course there is weather. You get 300 sunny days per year and it allows you to do sports, work out outside throughout the year. But then there's also festivals, parties and celebrations that are happening in squares, beaches and parks. I mean, even this year we met up with some friends in the park to celebrate Christmas, which for me as Lithuanian is just mind blowing. I noticed that winters in general feel a bit shorter because of these blue skies and all of the activities that are happening around. The city itself has a big art scene. It's full of culture and history. It has this bohemian vibe with street art, small studios and relaxed atmosphere. There's always some kind of exhibition or presentation happening. You have smaller museums around the city like ones in Poblano, but also big ones like Picasso, Magba, Mnac. And even though they are paid to enter, usually there are some days or times when people can enter for free. Then you have other events like light shows, La Merce, Fiestas de Gracia, which are all free to enter. I was really amazed by a number of free events in the city when I first moved in here. It's brilliant. Then of course you have other major sites like Sagrada Familia, Casa Botio, Pedrera, which you don't necessarily enter often, but sometimes there are events there. And just passing by them, you get amused every time. At least I do. In general, architecture around the city is really beautiful. I mean, just just look at this thing. This is the most beautiful thing. Other thing I love about Barcelona is how easy it is to move around the city. My favorite way is to go by bicycle because there are cycle lanes practically everywhere and usually it doesn't take me more than 20 to 30 minutes to get from point A to point B. If I don't cycle on my own bicycle, there is shared bicycle system which is still really good. For 50 euros a year you can pick up a bicycle from one of the many stations. Public transport is good as well. It's reliable, relatively clean and comfortable. There are a bunch of options like metro metros, buses, trams, you have night metros during weekend, night buses throughout the week and all of that is pretty cheap. If you want to get away from Barcelona, airport is really close by, just 30 minutes by bus from the city center. You can use it throughout the year, return ticket costs 10 euros and you can use it anytime within 90 days after purchase, which is let's be honest, awesome. Connections can compete with bigger airports like Madrid or London but you still find really cheap tickets for trips to most of the Europe. If you don't want to travel by plane, you also have good connections by normal and high speed trains. Network is well developed within the country and outside. Train to Paris? Yes please. Even though it might be a bit more expensive to travel than by plane, it's definitely more convenient and comfortable. City itself might feel like a small town in a way, where you bump into people you know randomly on the street, message your friends in the morning and meet them on the same day. You can walk, cycle pretty much everywhere and you still have all those benefits of living in a big city. There are a bunch of startups and programs that support those startups, 
there are job opportunities, especially in tech sector. Poblano area might feel very business-like with high-rise buildings and offices. There are a bunch of co-working spaces and of course all of the comforts of the big city. Talking about comforts, let's talk about food. And the biggest discovery for me was Latin American food. I tried cachapas and arepas here for the first time, which are mwah, beautiful, delicious. You can find cuisines focusing on traditional Catalan dishes, different international meals. There are definitely a lot of good restaurants to visit in the city, from Michelin star restaurants to cheap 5 euro sandwich shops, which, don't get me wrong, are still delicious. Generally, you don't need to book a spot in advance, but of course there are exceptions. And it's always easy to find a place for some beer and tapas. Also, after living in London for 8 years, I appreciate that you don't feel rushed out of the restaurant as soon as you finish your meal and can move at your own pace. When cooking at home, you can get a lot of fresh products from local markets and shops. Something like a machine to get freshly squeezed orange juice in the supermarket was just magical for me. There are a bunch of eco-friendly supermarkets as well, so it's not too too hard to eat based on your preferences. The next positive might be a bit controversial and it depends on whom you ask, but I think that Barcelona is relatively affordable when you compare it to other major cities in Europe. Of course rent is expensive and over the last couple of years it went up by a lot. You can still afford to live somewhere within 30 minutes to the beach, have good quality delicious food in the restaurant and save some money to travel. Also as I mentioned before a lot of events in this city are free so it's a bit different to other big cities where you have to pay at every step of the way for leisure. Healthcare system in the city is good because of all this active lifestyle I had to use it quite often. So you have CAP which is a Spanish public healthcare system and you can make appointments online. Uh, if you have any emergencies, they are pretty good. But for ongoing health conditions, the queues might be quite long, so it really depends on the issues that you have. I found that private health insurance is offered by a lot of employers, so that makes it just much easier to see the doctor when you need it. I'm sure that there is a lot of other positives that I didn't even mention in this video, so make sure to leave them down below. With all that said, if you start to think that Barcelona is this perfect city, uh, well, I made less positive video right here, where I talk about negatives. Make sure to check it out next.